Hello, welcome to the video. Uh, a little bit of a change of scenery here. Uh, try to ignore the random stuff in the background like the Ninja Turtles or the cardboard cutouts. It's my brother's desk. He's not home right now, so I figured this would be an easier setup to operate with. Got all those turtles there. But yeah, so uh, you already know what it is. It's uh, the NECA Ultimate uh, Jungle Hunter Predator. This isn't necessarily the plan, but it sort of coincides with the release of the new um, Predator Hunting Grounds video game. So kind of a little celebratory thing here, reviewing this figure. Kind of timely, maybe, sort of. Was it planned? Not really. Maybe it sort of was. It was a little spontaneous. But yeah. So uh, first things first, as usual, we're going to take a look at the box. So, okay, I had a feeling this was zoomed in. Okay, so we got the Predator, Jungle Hunter, I believe this is one of the posters for the movie, maybe. Uh, you should really, should really check my facts. Got Predator at the top, some jungle foliage, age 17 and up, so don't buy it for your kids, they're going to be choking on plasma blasts, I guess. Uh, there's a picture of the figure on the inside with some of the accessories. Jungle foliage backdrop there behind the figure. Predator on the side, Jungle Hunter, NECA Real Toys. In the back there's a little bit of a read up. I'll focus it so you can pause and read if you want to. It's a bit long so I'm not going to. Some more pictures of the figure. Some of its features. And, uh, yeah, so let's look at the accessories now. Okay, so for his accessories, he comes with uh, a few pairs of alternate hands. He's got the ones that he's got on right now. This one's more of like a fist. This one's an open hand. He comes with another open hand here. And then he comes with semi... This is a gripping hand, I suppose. It's a bit... The grip's a little small for the... Uh, it's probably meant for the spine. Uh, but So you're going to have to like work it open before you put this guy in there because neck necko figures have been known to be kind of stiff and you don't want to accidentally break things. He comes with this here human skull. Just a uh, just a regular skull this time. Okay I guess it doesn't want to focus. It doesn't want to focus now. Yeah just a regular skull and then he comes with the skull and the spine which is the cooler of the two. This comes with that spine, nice, nice sculpting on the spinal cord, nice paint work, the skull, some shading in the hollow eye sockets, the teeth, it all looks really cool. It'd be cool if we could get a bloody one of these, but I don't believe it was bloody in the movie, I think it might have been magically no blood, but I don't know. It's kind of how movie logic works anyway. Same with how he manages to rip the, the uh, spine out and it's just his skull and not the dude's head on the end. The game kind of explains that away. Because I saw, I saw a clip from the new game where he rips the dude's face off and then he rips the spine out, so it's just the skull. Which is kind of funny, a way of retconning that. Uh, he comes with a mask. Just a removed mask. No detailing on the inside. Semi unfortunate, but uh, just your standard detailing with the mass of targeting system. The I don't know if those are like designs or if it's supposed to be battle damage. If it is supposed to be battle damage, it looks kind of cheap, but I don't I don't think it is. And then um, because obviously he comes with this mask and an alternate head because uh, the mask is not removable, which is totally fine because, you know, th there's always an issue with removable masks, especially with figures with giant faces like this crab face predator here of the mask kind of not sitting on the face, right? So it's it's usually better to go with alternate heads in this case, and that's what we get here. We get your standard helmeted head and then unmasked predator head with this big old Crab dome, pinchers here, dreads, all the detailing on there, the gold, 
whatever you call them, the gold braid things. Um, well painted, well sculpted, everything looks... The texturing is, is awesome and on point. It's got some shine to it. It's a little bit slick looking like it was in the movie. I'm not sure if it was just yellow or not. Might have been. It looks more yellow on the... Uh, in camera because I got a yellowish light shining on it than it actually is so um, to be honest though if we were only if we were only to get one unmasked predator sculpt I know I think some figures in the past have had interchangeable mandibles which also would have been awesome but if we were only to get one head I would prefer the open mouth the op him like him roaring the open mandibles as opposed to this where he's just kind of chilling being intimidating but not like roaring. I would have preferred a roaring head sculpt to this one but this is still cool and I'm still glad we got it. I'm glad we got an unmasked head. I mean why wouldn't we? It would be a damn shame if we didn't. And then um, got this plasma effect. This plasma blast effect for um, his other accessory. His plasma caster, plasma cannon. Good detailing, I like how it's more translucent at the beginning and becomes less and less as it comes forward and eventually blending into like the white here. Very accurate to how the Plaza Vest looked in the movie. Very cool. Similar to kind of how their Godzilla effect with the uh, atomic breath. Similar to that. Um, and then the other accessory of course, like I already mentioned, is his plasma caster. And, uh, unfortunate thing about this one is it does not sit very well on his shoulder at all. You move him around a little bit and that thing just falls off, which is really kind of annoying because he has this on him for most of the movie, so I would prefer, so you would, I tend to have it on him for most of my display options, so it's kind of annoying if, like, it falls off every time I try to pose him around or, like, move his head or something his arms or whatever it just falls off very easily but while it's on there let me try and get the uh, blast effect going another thing to note is that this cannon here come on this cannon is articulated but it gets really loose really quickly which makes it kind of hard to hold up the plasma blast which luckily in certain if I as long as I can get it positioned right it still holds it up but I, I do like the fact that it's articulated and it can move around and stuff so you can change the angle of the blast or where he's aiming and firing it just gets a little bit loose there probably because the joints are so small but yeah it it looks it looks pretty badass when you get it going. Get him firing at whoever. Maybe he's firing at the Ninja Turtles over here. Poor Donnie's in the line of sight. <laughs> yeah, that's this is plasma is plasma cannon, which for the sake of um, me not getting annoyed, I'm going to remove for the rest of this review. I'll show you a little bit more of the details really quick. Because all the paint work and everything's really well done on all the armor for this figure. This, so you can see with the, how loose the joint is there. Um, but yeah, very well painted, very movie accurate. Got the dirt and grime and the, and the gears and stuff. All the sculpt work. It's, Really well done. Got some pipes going through there. Really, really looks good. And then the cannon itself. Okay, so... And then, uh, last sort of accessories, even though they're attached to him. Or he has his retractable wrist gauntlets, his wrist blades. Which are epic. Probably the most iconic Predator weapon if it isn't the plasma cannon, it's these wrist blades here. Very well done, very badass. They're not die cast or anything, but what are you really expecting die cast? Come on. Um, that would definitely raise the price point. And then this other 
is that his gauntlet here, um, I can get it, it opens up, reveal the uh, self-destruct sequence that he activates at the end of the movie, which is awesome. I'm glad that they added that detail, it's sick. And then if you want to count these as accessories, he's got his, his spine, his skull trophies all along here. I don't know if those are like bird skulls or aliens or what. I know that's a human spine, another, another one. And then he's got his uh, bone necklace here, which could be composed of various like bones of fingers and things. Yeah, so that's all very cool. So, let's get to the, the rest of the sculpt of the figure. So I've decided to do like a front and back, and maybe profile view of the figure rather than trying in camera to rotate him, because that just is sloppy. Um, as you can see, he's still got the same markings on his helmet, so I don't think it's battle damage. I think it's just a design of his helmet his neck is better than that that looks unless in the movie it actually looked that cheap um, but yeah um, the helmet the iconic helmet looks good it's got the blacked out eyes you got so let's see if there's uh let me see if there's any texturing in his eyes here It doesn't appear, it appears as if there might be some slight texture in the eyes, but nothing crazy. I know, I'm pretty sure they had some sort of um, texturing in the eyes uh, of the mask. In the film, um, he's got his targeting device there inside of his helmet. He's got the uh, fishnet thing, fishnet looking um, outfit he's got going, which is... Predator staple. All the predators seem to wear this stuff. Got his armor pieces. I wonder if the more kills you get, the more armor you get. I wonder if it's something like that. Or you buy armor with like your trophies or something. I don't know. Somebody probably knows like all the predator lore and will probably tell me what I'm wrong about. Uh, assuming they decide to comment. Uh, there's the outside of the. Uh, the uh, targeting device, and it, this side's got the wrist blades, got the the gauntlet, wrist armor here. Looks very cool. Blade itself, very accurate to the movie. It's got his skirt thing going here. Whatever you want to call it, I don't want to call it a skirt because I might make him angry. So on the hands. On all the hands, he's got these little spots here on his fingers like he does in the movies. And now, look at them fingernails, oof. You can claw your eyes out with just those things. doesn't even need a wrist blade to gouge you. Um, nice, nice um, line work here in the hand. Nice texturing with the skin and everything. He's got black fingernails. Like I said, he's got little white spots on his fingers themselves. Is he wearing gloves? It's really hard to tell if this guy's supposed to be wearing gloves or not. Because you see his nails here, but it looks like there's some type of... I don't know, you predators are weird. But this side here is a fist. More fishnet stuff and with his, the legs. He's got some armor on his shins. Very smart choice, especially if you're going to be kicking people in the face. Uh... That seems random, that's just my martial arts uh, training coming back to me at random times. Uh, he's got some armor on his thighs here, just on these sides. I wonder wh wh why they decide to place the armor where they do, why not like specific places. Like His chest's pretty open here, but I'm not going to question it because he looks cool. Uh, he's got his, his feet, nice big old predator feet, nice sculpting, nice paintwork. More texturing there, the predator skin, and uh, the bottom of his feet. Oh, would you look at that? They even 
He has little sandals. He's, I do believe that's accurate to the movie as well. So it's nice that they added that detail. They could have just like totally just painted it same color as the feet, not bothered and called it a day. But he ha he does appear to have some sort of footwear there, which is smart. I mean, I'm 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 sure they got some pretty tough feet, some some tough treads. But you know, if you're jumping around trees and stuff, you could still get cut. So it's it's still a smart it's a smart choice to to have some footwear on, especially at the bottom of your feet. You know. <laughs> so uh, that's the front. I'm gonna show you the back really quick. So some of the detailing on the back's hidden by his big old predator dreads, big old predator dreadlocks here. But you see he has some back armor here. Obviously he's got the area for where his plasma caster, or his plasma can is going to be mounted. And then uh, all the detailing here with his armor is solid. All looks very cool. I think there's like some screws and nuts and bolts and things. See the fishnet thing he's got over his upper torso, the back of his arms, more great texturing and detailing with the skin there. Very reptilian-like, obviously, except for the, his face itself was very crab-like. And then, uh, got the back of his, uh, shin armor there. Protecting his calves. He's got a little bit, little back claws here. I had almost forgotten they had those, but yeah, little claws at the back of their feet there. Back of his, I don't know what to call it. I have to call it a skirt because I don't know what else to call it. A toga? No, because a toga is like a full body thing. His arms there, the paint detailing with the, the um, the pattern of his skin with the coloring. A lot of the predators have different sort of skin coloring with the patterns. He's got the sort of like brownish black and and yellow going on here. Beige-ish, beige -ish yellow. It's the color of this guy. The OG here. All right, let's talk about his articulation. All right, let me get things all set up here. For the sake of uh, just kind of showing you as much as possible here, I got his alternate head on for the articulation. Uh, one thing to note, um, this uh, another compliment I have is that the heads are really easy to pop on and off. It's on like this peg. The head itself is attached to a peg, and then inside the neck is the ball joint. So it, the head's easy to pop off, and you still get the range of a of a ball joint. Which I mean, you can't look up the greatest, but he's got other articulation to kind of make up for that. Um, he looks down just fine, left and right. Cocks it side to side, so good range overall. And, um, it's basically just got a swivel at the head itself, and then it, once it gets into the neck, there's a ball joint. No articulation with the actual, with the base of the neck itself. So the arms, they fully rotate, they go out. Uh, that far, let's check the heavily armored one. It's a little bit hindered with this one because of the armor. Is a bicep swivel, double joint elbows, pretty good range. Past 90. Uh, he has rotation at the gauntlet, as well as a rotation at the wrist and a hinge back and forth at the wrist. And uh, blades are retractable. And uh, so his torso, he's got a ball joint here at the torso, which allows it to move around left and right, up and down. Can't really rock side to side much. But he has another ball joint here further down at the waist. So like I mentioned earlier, 
you can get him looking up with a combination of his uh, diaphragm and uh, head articulation. You can still get him looking up a decent amount. Even though really he'd be looking down most of the time because he'd either be up in the trees looking down or standing looking down because this dude's tall. I'll compare him to another really tall figure at the end. Um, see rotation there as well. Uh, legs kick forward that much. They kick back more than they kick forward, which is rare. <laughs> they go out. You can can't do super splits, but he can he can side kick somebody, I suppose. Uh, again, it, feel, it has that ratchety joint feel that the uh, Jason had. Uh, it it doesn't seem like there's a thigh cut. Oh, there is. It's just really hidden. It's hard to even see that that joint's really well hidden, which is good. So there is a thigh cut. It's just really high up. It's got the double jointed knees. Good range, really good range. Um, and then uh, no rotation at the knee itself. Um, there's ankles that can move. The ankles are on a ball joint, I believe. Yes, they are. So they can move back and forth a little bit. It's got a little, little bit of a rocker. So you can get them standing pretty wide, as wide as you really need to without much problems but yeah overall the articulation itself is good but the range is pretty limited by uh, a lot of the armor pieces but I prefer it it's obviously have those armor pieces here and I can still get them in some pretty cool poses so I'm not complaining too much about that let's compare them to some figures now Okay, so I mentioned in the Jason review that the Predator might be taller, but they're either the same height or Jason might even be a little bit taller than the Predator. So yeah, he, that's one big boy right there, because the Predator is one tall motherfucker himself. So yeah, he is a bit taller than Pennywise, though, and Pennywise is not the shortest person in his own right, um, but yeah, I just... He is a very tall figure, though, so I'm, I mean, to compare him with, obviously, I could just bring in a Ninja Turtle, and you can see how much he dwarfs him, but this Ninja Turtle is a bit shorter than the standard uh, male characters that they have, so I'll bring in, like, uh, what a standard male character is. I know I said standard male character and brought in another Jason, but this Jason is really, um about yeah he's, he's, he's pretty small he's about the same height he's a, maybe a little bit taller than the freddy figure this is the guy i have on hand and this is about as normal size to jason as there is in predators uh, let me see if i can get this camera through right. predator is quite a bit taller than him okay from a distance you can see it better but yeah so this guy is a pretty tall figure. I'm not sure if he's the tallest of the Predators or if the other Predators are taller or the same height as him. I'm not sure, but don't worry. He's he's a big boy. He's big enough. I, I just keep... I just only have a bunch of another very tall figures on hand. But, um, yeah, he, he will definitely work in your NECA display. So, yes. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that review gonna cut it off here um, if you're playing predator hunting grounds let me know if you think it's worth the price um, I don't really have anyone to play it with I'm on ps4 if you want to perhaps add me um, but yeah that was my review of the ultimate jungle hunter predator so I'll see you guys in the next one